Yes, I finally left Remember the Milk. If I could journey back in time and share this decision with my younger self, even that version of me wouldn't believe it. This transition marks a substantial shift in my productivity landscape. This is a video of the aftermath of a strike in the Al Shati refugee camp in Gaza. United Nations officials today said 70% of people in the Gaza Strip are displaced, many in living, condi in living in conditions, a statement called, quote, inhumane. The Secretary General said the Gaza is becoming a, quote, graveyard for children. How many members of your family have been lost since October the 7th? About the 25th. And this is all the members of the family who were killed. These are all your members of your family? Of the family on the 7th. They became biles, their bodies. Yeah. It took you 80 years to change one word from Jewish to Muslim. Mm. And then you transferred your guilt to us. Westerners has, has always dealt like this with indigenous people. You first treated them like savages, you know, Native American, First Nation, Aboriginal. They're savages. Kill all the savages. And then when they're almost extinct, you start feeling sorry for them, you know, like animals. So maybe, maybe the solution is that we kill as many Palestinians as possible so the few of them that remains do not bother you. Where is your humanity? How do you look at one atrocity and say this is wrong, but you watch as bodies pile up, as neighborhoods are leveled? Israel has dropped more bombs in the last 10 days than we dropped in a whole year in Afghanistan. My journey with task management platforms dates back to 2013, accumulating a decade's worth of experience. I did use a few tools before, but Remember the Milk has been my platform of choice for the past 7 years and it's essential to outline my requirements when discussing my transition. Here are the key criteria I consider. Adding a new task should be as effortless as possible for the tool to be effective in my workflow. The platform should have native apps on all major platforms I use and that should include a web app so that I could access my plan from machines that I do not own, for example, my work computers. There shouldn't be any limit on the number of lists I can create, and there should be tags to mark tasks, preferably with colors. There should be a way to create filters or smart lists so that I can aggregate items from multiple lists into a single view. The repeat system should be complex enough for me to be able to express all possible sorts of repeat patterns. There should be a way to express multi-day tasks in some way or the other. Surely, this shouldn't be too much to ask from a productivity tool, right? Given my requirements, there must be a compelling reason I stuck with Remember the Milk for so long. Here are a few factors that kept me loyal. Task entry in Remember the Milk is literally the best I've seen in a task management tool, wherein one can express all attributes of a task right during creation using shortcuts. Remember the Milk is available everywhere, even on Blackberry, you know, if that matters. And yes, there are Emacs packages that allow one to manage their tasks from text buffers from within Emacs. The number of lists, tags, and smart lists is virtually infinite especially with the pro membership and one can even set custom smart list as a default list if today isn't sufficient for you. The repeat system is also one of the best I've seen. Though there isn't direct support for multi-day tasks, since I started using start date, I've barely missed it. With all the apparent advantages of remember the milk, why make the switch now? Several factors influence this decision. To start with, I got a little too dependent on Remember the Milk to the point that it started to worry me. 
I mean, you'd surely like to have a tool that you could use to fulfill all your requirements and also get used to it so that you could get the best out of it. However, I usually like to avoid getting attached to a tool too much so that when it gets acquired by an evil megacorp, I don't feel stranded. I have a recurring activity of optimizing my use of tools like Remember the Milk, but after several iterations and with my reasonably complex setup, I could barely see any scope for growth. A part of me thinks that this is a great situation to be in, but the other part that likes to keep learning and adapting found this as a stagnation. With all these years of being able to pretty much successfully juggle all my tasks, I've been looking for a way to have my family and friends collaborate with me on a common platform. Remember the Milk does allow sharing with regular users from a pro account, but it can be a little too alienating to newcomers for them to find it convincing enough to use it instead of let's say Samsung Notes. And of course, I am a productivity enthusiast, so I love exploring tools that I can potentially replace the ones in my workflow with. And I've been keeping an eye on alternatives that people use. Also, you might have heard of fear of missing out, haven't you? Finally, they did announce a price bump starting the next billing cycle. And though they say it's only the second time since the last 18 years, every dollar counts, right? And $10 definitely do. Okay, so for something that would replace Remember the Milk, there were several options. While platforms like Obsidian and LogSack had potential, they lacked a thin client and offered features already present in other tools within my toolset. The newer platforms I discovered, they didn't fully meet my criteria, especially for a reasonably affordable price. Tools was almost perfect, but again, it had no web client. And Routine was another great option, but an Android app was still not available at the time of the research. After a lot of searching, I was left with only two options, which is Todoist and TickTick. I've already attempted to switch to Todoist a couple of years ago, and though I wanted to give it another try, their prices have increased, only leaving me with TickTick, which is when I switched over from Remember the Milk seven years ago. I reviewed my reasons for the switch that I made last time and I realized it was from a free plan in Tech Tech to that in Remember the Milk. Now that I was a pro member, the comparison was on a different level. And after a careful evaluation, I chose to return to Tech Tech. My transition to Tech Tech brought about various changes, gains and some losses. I'll miss the objectively better and quick task creation experience, but in exchange, I get features like the one I can add tasks by recording my voice, at least on my mobile device. I won't be able to use smart lists in other smart lists, but in exchange, I get to see multiple lists in a single view. There isn't anything like start date now, but in exchange, I get something that's even more handy, which is task durations and now I can mark tasks to be active for multiple days. I'll miss the advanced query language for creating smart lists and will have to split my smart lists into multiple filters with simpler filter criteria. There were features like milk script that I never got to use, so I wouldn't care if an equivalent wasn't available in TickTick. I no longer need to use long namespaced list names as now I can arrange them into folders. There's even an option to nest tags. The individual lists themselves can have sections, which is something I've started using to combine multiple lists that appear similar, but are somehow not. I'm sure this is going to be another of those features that will spoil me and make the next switch even more difficult as I'm least likely to find this feature anywhere else. I've always missed having a calendar and remember the milk, but with the premium plan in Tick Tick, I also get a calendar view along with a Kanban view and a timeline view. There are other extra features like Pomodoro focus mode, Eisenhower matrix, and a habit tracker that I don't need at the moment. The notes within tasks can now be formatted instead of treating them as plain text. There's an option to maintain note lists but that's another feature that overlaps with other tools in my toolset. 
Along with multi-level subtasks, we also have checklists that can act as lightweight replacement to regular subtasks. I can finally also specify time zones for tasks. So hopefully that should help me be more specific about due times unlike in Remember the Milk where though it had a feature to detect a change in time zone during travel, I often messed schedules especially for region dependent tasks. Finally, I wish that I could use Remember the Milk from my vehicle only if it could work with Android Auto which is something that I need to try but TickTick at least has an app for Android Wearable so I can access it in some capacity from my smartwatch. There are quite many more features available in TickTick that I don't have a use for. Some of them include summary notes, task progress percentages, pinned tasks and more. The aim here isn't to learn how to use a tool but to upgrade my tool set and get even more efficient in my workflow. However, every tutorial that I've watched about TickTick leaves me at least with two to three cool features in TickTick that I have never imagined I'd need. Compared to my last switch, this transition was more substantial as the number of tasks was not even half as many as I do now. And given the number of items and the complexity of subtasks, tags, repeat patterns and whatnot, there was so much at stake, making the entire exercise both cumbersome and scary. I had to transfer over 200 tasks manually which was a time consuming and nerve wracking process. As that took more than a day, I had to live with two platforms for a few days, making sure I kept them in sync, at least for the ones that were migrated over then. With the experience of a failure to switch over to Todoist that I faced a couple of years ago, I still kept my tasks in Remember the Milk around for a bit, just in case I had to abandon the move anytime during the process so that I could simply drop it and pretend that nothing ever happened. Thankfully, TickTick's monthly membership allowed me to test the waters before committing to a full year. One of the interesting things is that none of the items I mentioned in the process were as scary as deleting my data from Remember the Milk, the one that I had carefully crafted and got used to during the last 7 years. Remember the Milk remains one of my favorite platforms that I've seen go through some major redesigns over the years and I might still recommend it to people depending on their use. It wasn't that Remember the Milk wasn't good enough anymore. I realized that I had outgrown it after all these years. As a tradition, I gift myself a productivity tool for my birthday and this year I chose TickTick Premium.